What's going on everybody? It's me, the original gamer, Stevie Stroh, and I'm here with you with another cool, fun, and exciting color computer cartridge game from 1982. You are about to experience Megabug. Let's jump in and play this game. So, this game, obviously inspired by Pac-Man, you are going through a maze eating dots, much like Pac-Man. However, some of the differences are, this is more of a real maze. There are dead ends to this. There are no exits. There's no tunnels where you can go out one side and come to the other. You can see here, I'm in a dead end. I've got a double back now. And um, you have to eat dots. You have to clear the maze. That much is similar. You are being chased by bugs, not by ghosts, but by bugs, hence the name Mega Bug. And there's a bug right now, he's on my tail. So there are a bunch of bugs randomly located in the maze that are now randomly searching for you. And they actually follow the dot trail that you leave behind too. That's one way that they can kind of keep up with you. Um, pretty cool game. The maze is actually a much larger maze than your typical Pac-Man maze. So they came up with the concept of this magnifying glass to um, kind of pan your way through what you're doing. That was kind of interesting and unique. And uh, it's a large maze. So definitely Pac-Man inspired. This is another game that was released as a cartridge, which means it was officially licensed by Tandy. It was available for purchase in a Radio Shack store. The author of this game is a gentleman by the name of Steve Bjork. I'm very familiar with his name because he made a ton of games for this computer during these times, and he made some of the best games for this computer. So Steve Bjork was pretty much the superhero of this computer, almost ran into a bug. You only get one life. If you get killed, the game is over. There aren't three lives like Pac-Man. There is no bonus life. Um, it's recording your time. It's, it's recording how much time it takes to clear this, and it's giving you an overall score. But you have one chance to clear the maze, and if you got killed, it was game over. And you started over on a new maze. I got a lot of bugs on my tail. The good news is, is if you go to an area where you've already been and it's cleared, you're less likely to find a bug because they're kind of chasing you. So, yeah, this guy, Steve Bjork, made some incredibly cool games on this computer system. He made this computer do things nobody knew it was capable of doing. This guy was a superhero. He was a rock star. And I mean, he still is. I'm sure he's around. I've, I've, as a matter of fact, I ran into his name on the internet just today when I was looking for stuff. But in my childhood, this guy was God. Steve Bjork was the man. He made the coolest games, the funnest games, the bestest games. He made me proud to own this computer because he showed the world what this computer could do. So, um, very cool stuff. Very interesting concept of the literal maze. This is an actual maze. There are dead ends. Um, you know, it's not your typical arcade Pac-Man type maze. It's more of a real get out your book and your pencil and let's solve this maze. Now, I am stuck here. Let's see which way the bug goes. The bug went that way. So they're not super duper smart. Um, I am stuck like Chuck. We gotcha. And it did something cool too. It did some synthesized sound. It almost sounded like digital speech. But I'm dead and the game is over. It would have been interesting to see if I finished a maze. Had I finished a maze, I would have gone on to another maze and so on and so forth. So like many of the games of this era, it was very repetitive. You kept doing the same thing over and over and over again. This is basically a game over demo here showing you how the game works. Um, so cool music, nice use of color and sound, nice cool little digitized recording of the bug saying we gotcha. Not a lot of games did that. There were a handful of games. Uh, I didn't hear it that time, but there were a handful of games on this computer system that did make almost what sounded like digitized speech. This was years before people were actually digitizing speech, but again, they found ways to do some really cool and impressive things. So I hope you enjoyed this preview. This is one of the many cartridges for my color computer of my childhood that I really cherish and enjoy. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos like this, so I'm looking forward to some comments to see what people think. And um, this game is called Megabug 1982 for the color computer. My name is the original gamer, Stevie Stro. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a like. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. If this is your first time coming to my channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this game and you'd like to see more games like this, then throw out a comment and let me know what you think.
thought. And until the next time, I will see you all later. Peace out.